Okay guys, so in this video I will show you how you can create an Apple ID on your iPhone. This is very important because an iPhone without Apple ID is basically useless. If you open up the settings, at the top you should see your profile picture as well as your name. If you don't see it, then you are not logged in with your Apple ID, so this is very important. So open up the settings and click on the thing at the top with your icon. So click on that. and. I don't even have internet connection, so this is the number one requirement. At first, make sure you click on that and join a Wi-Fi connection. So make sure that you are connected to the internet, type in the passcode, and once you are connected to the Wi-Fi, then you can actually start creating the Apple ID. And the good thing about it is that you don't even have to get inside of any Safari or any website. You can do it right from the iPhone. So you get to this page, if you have one, just type it in already. But if you don't and want to create a new one, click on don't have an Apple ID like that. And you can see that it's loading up right there. So this is important. We have to wait for it. It also kind of depends on your internet connection, but mostly on like the setup process. So just wait through it and you get to this section. So you have to type in your name, which is going to be something you have to like set up on your own. So it's going to be for me, it's going to be the Fox stack. In this case, I'm going to make the birthday of the channel, I guess. Now you have to do an join with an actual email address. So this is something that you are supposed to set up. If you have a Gmail or any other email address, you can pair it to this new Apple ID. So in case you have a, I don't know, like your personal Gmail or Hotmail or whatever, you can put it in and use that to like join or set up your Apple ID. But let's say I don't even have it. So I'm just going to create it like I don't have an email address, I'm going to click on the blue button. So instead, I can get an iCloud email address. So this is how you can basically do that. And I'm just going to click on the screen right here. And I have to create it. So it's going to be the name uh, at iCloud. So I'm just going to try if the Fox deck is available. So chances are that it's going to be available. I will disable the announcements because I don't want to receive like uh, Apple emails, like announcements, marketing or anything like that. So I'm going to disable it and hit continue. And if this email is not available, then it's just not going to let me. But it does let me because the name hasn't been taken. So make sure that the address uh, is the one that you want, because you cannot really change it later after creating it. So it is the Fox tech at iCloud.com. It's OK. So create an email address. So I'm going to click on that like this. And now I have to type in at the password. So I'm just going to do that. But yeah, I'm going to like make sure that you don't see it, of course. OK, so I typed the password in. And now the next thing is to set up or like connect it to a phone number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the country where I'm located or the number that you have. In this case, it doesn't matter which one it's going to be. So I'm just going to like choose the country of my own. They are sorted alphabetically. So you don't look at the numbers. You look at the countries which are sorted in alphabetical order and find the country that you are located in or that you have the numbers of. So I'm going to click on my country and just type in my number. So now the verification code has been sent to that very specific phone number. So what I have to do now is just wait until I receive it. It's actually not inside of this phone. It's in a different one. So make sure that you like pay attention to it. You can hear the notification beep. And now all I have to do is just to type in the correct uh, number. So it's just uh, this one right here. Okay, so I have to agree with the uh, terms and conditions. So I'm going to click on agree uh, like that. And now all I have to do is just to wait. You can see that the nice animation is playing that I'm signing in. There's the app store files, iMessage, everything like find my is connected to your Apple ID, the wallet, music, iCloud photos, iCloud as the files, the files app, everything is just like being connected to you. So there isn't like a um, thing that you can decide if you want to use or not. Apple ID is really crucial, so you definitely should do it. Now you have to enter the passcode to your iPhone, which is a no problem. So we just have to go through that and wait for it like this. Now this has taken a really long time, but finally we are here in the main section. So this is the Foxtech at iCloud.com. You can see this 
thing right here you can see in your section by the way we are here inside of the settings so if you go in here click on that just click on your name like this and you can see all of the devices which are paired to that very specific Apple ID. So in my case, it's this iPhone. You have some personal information as well, payment and shipping. We have the iCloud storage data, media and purchases. Find My can be set up, but I just didn't turn on the location services. So yeah, I will cover more stuff in the future. So that's definitely something to look forward to. But as of right now, I'm going to wrap up the video because that's everything what I wanted to show you right now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you found it useful. If you did, just leave a thumbs up, but definitely go to the Fox Tech educational platform, which you can join for free in this link down below in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the future. Peace out until then.